Is that Antonio over there? Yes, sir. So, yeah, I guess you just got out of jail, didn't you? Yeah. You got an ID on you? What and I you do? close that door, you roll your window down. Welcome back. We're going to be taking a look at a video out of West Virginia. The county is McDowell, it's sparsely populated, and the cities within are very tiny, such as this one here of the city of Welch. Little small valley towns, and with this, when there's a sheriff's office and a police department, you know there's going to be trouble. I've got a report that the sheriff's office here is collecting IDs on anyone and everyone when they stop them regardless if they have probable cause or reasonable suspicion. In addition to this, one of the deputies who's a corporal is also a police chief. In a recording here with a police scanner, you can hear on a traffic stop, they collected four IDs from all occupants of the vehicle. The woman you're about to see here recorded the interaction, and on this stop, Deputy Brent Klein begins to interrogate all passengers and collect ID. Yeah, you have to take off the window tent on this thing. No one's never told me anything about my window tent. It's only 5%. Can she make it a lower, like a higher percent? What is it? Can she make it like a higher percent? Yeah, it'd be 35%. Okay. Make she it illegal. Okay. Okay. 35%? Yep. Okay. That's the first time someone's warned me about that and I get it fixed. Okay. I thought Dalton maybe pulled you over for that. No, Dalton never said anything about my window tint when he pulled me over. And I just want to let you know I'm recording me and you just for your safety and mine. That's fine. I'm recording too. Okay. You got all your information? Yes, I do. Right here courts in West Virginia in a case Wingate versus Fulford, the Fourth Circuit ruled that the initial seizure of a person must be constitutional before the police officers can enforce a stop and identify statute for a person being briefly detained or what is commonly referred to as a Terry stop. Police must have reasonable, articulable suspicion that the person is engaged in criminal activity. And if they do not have that, it is unreasonable and violates the Fourth Amendment. Turn you over there. Yes, sir. Yeah, I guess you just got out of jail, didn't you? Yep. Yeah. What happened there? Misdemeanors driving. Yeah. Yeah. No plates, no insurance. Uh, you got right. me for instruction. I got you. All right. <laughs> they don't like that. They, they don't like that. What you come out and speak to? What for? No, I just want to talk. No, I'm not trouble with this. He can talk while he's sitting in the car. He doesn't have to get out of the car to talk to you. You so put your leg back in this car, Antonio, what and you do? close that door, you roll your window down. No, he's he's going to talk to you inside of this car. He's going to talk to you inside of this car. Close your damn door. I'm not going to Close your door and roll that window down. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm being calm. He can talk to you inside of this car. He can talk to you inside of this car. Close that door and roll that window down. Here, I'll roll my window down for you. Close that door, Antonio. You got to talk. I won't got nothing to say to you. All right. All right. Thank you. Close the door. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you. <laughs> Damn, some shit, ain't it? Yeah. Why you want to talk to me? What's your name? How you on? got an ID on you. I just now got out of jail. Oh, we, yeah? We just yeah. picked him up from Logan, man. Oh, yeah? I guess, is that where you're coming from? Yeah. Okay. You going back home or? Got I got a report to my home confinement officer. Okay, we well still got, you got an ID or anything? While this guy's digging for this ID, we did get this woman a dash cam so that she could have it in her car in case there was future retaliation from this department. It's a very small area. Smash the thumbs up if you can. He doesn't have ID, he just got out of jail. He okay. just told you that. He has books that he's read right, he's for a year. For something. That works. All right, I'll be back. Hey, where's your mind? Oh, I'm sure. I don't know the name of How about you? Go ahead. See, we're gonna have the next one. She's gonna be from Pineville. Is Aaron Thomas on your E R? A A R. Johnny Willem. 
Well, the outcome of this stop was the woman did not receive a citation. This is what you call a pretextual stop. The legislature in West Virginia does criminalize the tent and makes it a misdemeanor. Well, I want to thank you guys for watching, like, and subscribing. We're going to be looking into this county here, McDowell County, West Virginia. If you had an incident with them, please send them in to jamesmadisonaudits at gmail.com. It'll really help out if you share this video. I'll see you again soon.